This customer wants to put a coax jack down here at the bottom. That way we can hook up their cable box. Um, so we're going to do a wall drop. First thing we do whenever we're gonna do a wall drop is we figure out where the studs are. So we get a stud finder. We can use a Franklin sensor like this. We know we have a stud here. And we know we have a stud to the left of the right of the electric right here. Um, so I like to put my drop right in the middle of that wall cavity. So what I'll do is I'll take this coax stinger. This is my marker for when I go in the attic. And I will put this into the ceiling. And that way I know how far left or right to drill in that two by four to get my cable down in the wall. So let's go ahead and insert this. And then we'll show you what we're gonna do next. So there's my two studs. So I wanna get right in the middle, pretty much even with the left side of this mount. We'll take our stinger. We'll come straight up from that point. And I like to use the tip of my dikes to push it into the drywall. Just as so. When you pull this out, the hole's so small you don't even see it. There you go, now you got your stinger in the wall. Now we'll go in the attic and find this and we're gonna drop down the cable. But first, we're gonna unpackage our magnet retriever. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my coax to this drop chain. So whenever I drop my chain in the wall, I should be able to find it using this magnet or hook using a small tiny hole at the bottom. So stay tuned guys. So we have a bag and chain. We have the flexible magnet here. It's got a magnet on this side and a small magnet on this side. Um, and you can bend this however you need to get in the wall to retrieve your either chain or whatever you're trying to catch that is um, gonna stick to this magnet. And then we have the expandable hook. This is a lifesaver. If you got a piece of string, anything in the wall, it can hook it real easily. And this also has a magnet on the end as well as a clip. So you can actually clip this to your shirt real easily, just like that. So very nice, Jonard. Let's give it a try. There is the stinger right there, guys. As you can tell, it's sticking straight up. So the two by four I have to drill through should be right in front of that stinger. Let's see if we can find it. I got it, Dave. So yeah. You see this big two by four that is right there? That's what we need to drill through. So let's go ahead and drill through it and drop our chain. We'll wanna drill directly in front of our stinger, which is right here. And we always wanna drill in the middle of the like for a plate. you'll need an extension bit to go all the way down. And I think I'm gonna need an extension bit because I can't get all the way down. Let's get an extension bit. All right, so we have an extension now. Um, let's see if we can get all the way through. There it is, just needed just a little bit more. Usually the paddle bit is enough. All right, now that we have our hole drilled all the way through the top plate, let's get our ring. And it wants this to be the top part, so this will actually get stuck on the hole we drilled. So let's get the bottom. And this probably will only work if you have no insulation. So let's drop the chain in the wall. And let's see if we can get it to go all the way down. And this is great for doors stuff like that too 
There it's going all the way down. And this ring should get stuck. Yeah, it gets stuck right there. So that way it can't fall down in the wall. So now let's go ahead and go back downstairs, drill a hole in the wall and see if we can uh, retrieve our ball chain. All right, guys, we're now back in the room. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drill a three quarter inch hole right here in the wall and see if we can retrieve that ball chain. Now, after we're done, I'm going to cut it out, put a bracket in the wall plate, but this is just for educational purposes only. So let's give it a try. All right, we got our hole drill. Nice and perfect. And Ooh, look at that. I can see my ball chain right there. So let's try to retrieve it with the tool. Should we use the little side or the big side? Let's try the big side. I'm kind of excited to try the bigger side of the retriever here. Ooh, I heard it connect. Check that out. Check that out. That easy, guys. Go Joe Nard. So now what we're gonna do is if you look at the bottom, let me pull this off real quick. If you look at the bottom, I actually have a little ring here. So instead of taping it, I think I'm gonna wrap my stinger of my coax around that and then we'll try to pull it up. Let's give it a try. Now, like I said, the magnet worked great, but you can also use this tool as well. Look how easy it is to just hook onto that chain and pull it out. I could have easily used this as well, especially since I could see the ball chain. Um, so I just wanted to show you how easy it was to use this telescoping hook. Now, we're going to go ahead and strip this coax and we're going to attach it to this ball chain. This is how I make my stingers. I'll just strip it, twist it a few times and then it pulls off. I'm gonna go ahead and attach it here. Now, whenever I attach a stinger, I like to bend it, you know, around the circle. And then what I do is I'll actually make a few turns around the stinger itself. And that ensures it won't come back off. And I'll cut that off and grab some colors. Cut that excess off. And for extra measures, we're going to go ahead and take this. And that will make sure it doesn't get hung up on the um, outer jacket. and tape it here. Eh, I always like to put a little extra tape on there. And yeah, there we go. Now we are nice and solid. It's not pulling in part easy at all. So now I'm gonna go up in the attic and see if I can pull this. All right guys, so we're back. I actually went ahead and put the ring on the stinger just to make sure it didn't fall in the hole. But as long as you drill, smaller than a three quarter inch it'll work so all right let's give it a pull bam look at that we have retrieved our cable with the jonard magna retriever system how about that let me get some more slack Make sure you got your slack already ran in the room so you don't have to have a second person. But there you go, guys. Go Jonard. This Magna Retriever is awesome. Don't look funny in the flash? My eyes? No. Everything looks good? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, guys. We have successfully dropped our coax cable using the Magna Retriever. Um, it comes with this carrying case um, for all your stuff. You don't have to put it back in the package, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, go Jonar guys. Coming with Quick Tech, sign it out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove the singer. As you can tell, you see no hole. That's what I was talking about, guys. Let's get it. There you go, guys. We got the cable box plugged in. The TV is now working. Um, so yeah, contact us for all your tech needs, folks. Y'all have a blessed New Year's.